All right, today is April 9th, my first paycheck from my new job um, just popped up into my bank account and it's currently pending, but I'm going to go ahead and enter it in here and budget it. So I'm going to enter in a new payee for my new employer. It's going to be to be budgeted. I'm going to say first paycheck from new job. It's going to be fourteen forty-eight twenty-seven. So when I was kind of calculating what my paychecks would look like, I was expecting closer to fourteen hundred. Um, but so fourteen forty-eight is really good. Um, I am salary, so this number should be pretty consistent. But this is after my health insurance. I have like one hundred and sixty-five dollars going to my HSA, and then fifteen percent from my four hundred one k. So. The goal with this budget, it's probably going to be really fast. What I'm going to try to do is make sure I'm fully buffered for May, start buffering and putting money into June, and then also take care of some savings that I want to get done. Um, everything going on with COVID, things are kind of uncertain, so this is going to be my budget plan, and then I'm also going to use some of the stimulus check to further buffer myself, but I try to be two months ahead and put most of my money that I'm earning in April in June. Um, I'm not going to be able to put all of it into June, but a little bit of it. So we're actually going to start in May, and if you see in May, I'm already budgeted quite a bit. So I usually put $150 to my mom every month, but with my new job, I do want to increase this payment to $400 a month. You can see I currently already have 150 budgeted from previous months. So I'm going to add 250 into here so that this is 400. So for April, I will do the 150 as normal and then starting in May, I'll be giving her $400 a month. Um, but everything else in May is pretty much budgeted for. Um, I'm not going to start budgeting money to give to my dad to help him out until June. Um, so I'll actually be putting some money into that category, but not for May for June, just in the moment. But my subscriptions are budgeted, um, a lot of my monthly varied is budgeted, so I'm just going to put $20 into giving for May, because, um, that's definitely something I'm going to want to start doing in May, is give with everything going on. Then, everything else is budgeted for, for the most part, in May. So then I'm going to go to June and start creating that buffer. So I'm going to do half to half of that $400 payment. And I guess I should probably change this goal to $400 a month. Mm -hmm. I won't change the title just yet because in April it's still 150, but starting in May really it's going to be 200. It's going to be 400, so I'm starting that, and then I'm also going to cover my payment to my dad, and I'll make this a goal. I'll say 50 dollars monthly contribution. Save. So that goal has been met. Then. Um, the rest of everything in June is going to be budgeted with my stimulus check because I should be getting the full $1,200 and then my next paycheck, which I'll be getting on April 24th. Um, I think that's also when the IRS said that the stimulus check was going to come, so that's kind of when I'm shooting to see that. Maybe they can get their stuff together and get that out. So with the rest of this $928.27, I'm going to be putting a little bit into savings. So we're going to scroll down to my savings category. Um, I'm going to be putting $400 more into my IRA. Um, so I previously budgeted $400 for my last paycheck. I budgeted another $400. And then in my medical deductible category, I'm going to budget another 220. Um, I just got new medical insurance for this year with my new job. 
the deductible is $1,600, and I actually want to get this category up to around $2,000. So I'm at $720 right now, which is pretty good. And then with this $308, I'm actually going to be putting $300 towards my federal loan A, which is my last student loan payoff. Federal loans are currently suspended payments and no interest for the next six months, so I'm not actively paying on it, but I do want to set aside that money, the full $5,200-ish that I need to fully pay it off come September. So, right now I'm at, oops, did not mean to do that. Right now I'm at $2,044.08 um, to use to pay that off which is pretty good. So I'll be continuing to kind of put a lot towards this um, the next few months, but I was kind of putting like $2,000 a month on this, and now I'm just kind of going to hold that money. And if I do end up needing to drop it at the end of September, I can. And part of me is still kind of holding out hope that maybe they'll cancel some student loans or provide some more student loan relief um because I personally think that'd be a really good way to help the economy but um whatever so with this 827 that's left since it's just kind of change um and I really like to keep my categories as rounded as possible you know I don't like to see a lot of change in my categories I'm going to put this 827 and actually start funding one of my wish farms. So if you don't know what a wish farm is for YNAB, um, it's pretty much this idea that you have a wish list. So this is where you just list a bunch of things that you want to get eventually. Um, and you kind of put an approximate amount that it's going to take to get that. And then you're allowed three wishes in your wish farm. So you write these all in your wish list and then you move three of them up to your wish farm. Um, and with any extra money that you get, or maybe, you know, a month closes and you have $20 left over in your fund category that you don't need, you can move that down to the wish farm. You just, you know, water these seeds, is what they kind of call them, these categories, as much as you want until you have that goal. So these three things are all things that I'm working on, but, um, they're not really my main focus until I complete my medical deductible category, and um, fund more towards my IRA, and then once I get those kind of back on track to max out my IRA by the end of this year, and then have like the $2,000 in my medical deductible, I'll be putting more money towards my wish farm, but for right now, I have 827 left, I might as well throw that towards this wish farm category. So there you go, that was my budget, it was pretty fast. Um, I'll quickly look over my reporting and look at my um, income versus expense report. You can see here, I've actually already gotten quite a bit of income because I got a paycheck last week on April 3rd from my, was the last check from my um, previous full-time employer, and that was for a full two weeks. And then this week, I got a paycheck for a full two weeks at my, my new full-time employer, so... This will actually be a three paycheck month for me, just work money, um, because I'll get paid April 24th, 24th again for my current full-time employer, and then that will make three paychecks, and then also this stimulus check, if it actually comes in April, will be kind of a fourth paycheck, and then um, I've gotten one paycheck, one small paycheck from my part-time position. So... With everything going on right now, I feel really grateful that um, this month is actually might turn out to be a pretty high income month for me. And really all that's going to allow me to do is put a lot into savings and build a bigger buffer so that I feel pretty good with whatever happens. Um, honestly, I'm kind of, even though I just started this new job, two weeks ago, like at the end of March, I'm already kind of worried about if things continue to get really bad and however long this lasts, if I will continue to have this new job. So in the meantime, I'm just focused on saving and buffering as much as I can. 
Luckily, my expenses are pretty low because I do live at home, which is why I pay my mom money for bills and, and food and all of that. Um, but I'm hoping that I can keep this job up so that I can help her more with the household, if that makes sense. So that is my budget. Oh, I think the only other report thing that I can look at is my net worth. My net worth right now is five thousand dollars because I have over ten thousand dollars in assets, and then I have my student loans and then my two credit cards that um, I'm gonna pay off this month. But you can see, just since the beginning of this year, my net worth has actually increased two hundred and eighty percent, which is pretty cool. If I look at the toolkits reports, I have this set up for all of the dates, so. Since I started budgeting February of 2019, I don't know how big of an increase that is, but that seems pretty substantial. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's my budget. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please check out some of my other videos for more information on my categories and how I budget. Hope you guys are staying safe and sane during this time. Um, my thoughts are with everyone.